Hi guys, um, I'm back again with this look. This is my candy cane inspired um, Christmas look. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's a red cut crease with white. Um, I don't know if the glitter's picking up on camera, um, but it's got like a sparkly pigment over the top. Um, right, so let's get going. First thing I did, obviously, I've lined my waterline and tight line already. Um, I do that before filming, because otherwise my eyes water all over the place and it ruins the whole look. Um, I've already put eye primer down. Um, the next step is to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil, which I depotted. And to put that on, I used my Real Technique deluxe crease brush and I'm literally just putting a small amount like at the bottom right there predominantly where we're going to put the white and just blend that out with your finger like so until it's all even right next thing we're gonna do let me find the right brush because i'm there a bit chaotic smudge your brush and of course love plus my sugar pill and this is what you're going to use to cut your crease you don't want too much on because otherwise it's going to fall off it fall out all over your face and what you're trying to do is obviously match it up to the other eye not too bad and then you're just going back in with that brush and thickening it up You could always draw that line in with like a red lip liner. Um, or something. If you wait a bit more for a precise line. But we're going to keep going over it until it's nice and crisp anyway. Like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap to this little tiny shader brush from Miko Tools, and I'm just going to start building the colour up and blending it. Up to meet my brow bone, my brow bone, or my, or my eyebrow. Obviously, I've had to do my crease quite high because I've actually got hooded eyelids. Um, if you're lucky enough not to have saggy, horrible old ladies' eyelids like me, then obviously you won't need to do it so high. Right, so I think that'll do. Then what I'm going to do... Just to deepen it up a bit like I have on here, I'm going to go back in with that same smudge brush and I'm going to go in with Beauty Mark from um, MAC. Um, any kind of purple will probably do. Um, you could even use Poison Plum by Sugar Pill. Blend that into the red. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that tiny little shader brush with a bit more Love Plus on and I am just going to blend that even more into the red. Oh, 
like so right next step is the white um, and I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush and I am using Taco also by Sugar Pill um, all over the all over the uh, jumbo pencil in milk obviously trying to be careful not to go on to the red go up to but not I'm just going to go back in with that smudge brush because I've, I've gone onto the red slightly there. So that's that. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is blend, blend is apply my brow highlight, which is Brulee um, by Mac. Obviously, use whatever you have, whatever you use. And if you feel you need to, go back in with that smudge brush with what's left. Right, now because you can see the sparkle on this side, what I'm going to use is, um, it's a pigment and it's called Yayo and it's by um, Urban Decay. I've just depotted it into this tiny little pot because um, the pots that they come in are pretty impractical to be honest and I am just going to spray my brush with my setting spray just to make it damp and to be honest I'm just whatever's in the lid just picking that up and patting that all over the top of where you've laid tacko down brings a bit of sparkle to the look like that then I am going to go in with my Essie Lauder um, double wear stay in place gel eyeliner and this is in the color stay onyx um, I'm loving this eyeliner um, I've been trying to find one that doesn't smudge, budge, move um, any of the above and this so far has been my holy grail of gel eyeliner. And as you can see we're going for a wing. So steady your elbow on a counter. And you're going out like that then you're dragging it across to meet your lash line and obviously you can do liner however you like However thin, dramatic, um, as you're comfortable with. Don't you just love it how one eye works and then the other one doesn't? There. 
and I'm going to add um, some lashes today. These are um, by Eyelaw. They're just natural lights in 100. And um, I'm just going to add some eyelash glue onto the band before I do my mascara. So leave them a minute. Then I'm just using, as always, my Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. And I have actually missed a bit. What you need to do is go in with your small pointy brush. This is just one for me. This is a smudge brush and it's for Miko Tools. I'm going back in with Beauty Milked. And just running that under the lower lash line. Like that. Right, let's see if these lashes will go on. And as you can see, I'm just using the tweezers to pinch them into my own lashes. It's always that outer corner, inner corner, doesn't want to stick. So there you go, um, and I'm just going to pop on new dish lipstick, which is this colour, and it's um, shade 11, and it's by the Makeup Academy. And there you go. the look um i just did a very simple contour um tiny bit for highlight and um pink blush nothing major because obviously the eyes are quite dramatic um so there you have it there's my candy cane inspired makeup tutorial just for christmas and um i will see you again soon in my next video goodbye Mwah.